John G. DeAndrea, EM2. The sleeping quarters were very tight. I had the bottom rack, it was two above me. Now every time someone went on watch, they'd have to go in the locker, which was underneath me, there was three lockers. So they would raise me up, go into the locker, take what they needed, and drop me back down. Eight hours usually. A few times when we were doing the exercises that were less, was less four or five. And then if we had general quarters, of course, you get up at all times. Yeah. But for training, for general quarters. For general quarters, my, uh, I had to report to, to, we all had stations assigned. And I was assigned to an, a gener an emergency generator, electrical emergency generator station. Uh, well, when we did our drills, that meant that we had to take the, whatever part of the ship was destroyed or, or, or needed, whatever part of the ship had a failure, electrical failure, we were required to run cables from that emergency generator site to wherever the problem was. The food aboard ship was so-so. Uh, <laughs> It was very good when we were in port. It was very good when we took supplies on. Now, a little story about supplies. When they took supplies on at sea, they would, uh, from the tender, they would ship the food over uh, with, with a, a line from one ship to the other. And as the food was becoming coming aboard ship, everybody had to help bringing the food aboard. So there'd always be a couple of engineers bring food on. And every once in a while, they would drop a case of food into the engine room. So <laughs> after, after I'd see for two or three days, we used to have we used to eat pretty good <laughs> down in the engine room. Made a lot of soup, too. Yeah, it was great. Uh, when we were aboard ship, we, uh, had, we, had, we would have our Christmas dinner, our turkey dinner. And if you had to uh, uh, leave weekend, weekend, weekend pass, we'd uh, go ashore and have uh, the holidays there.